Hello, my name is Chef Iris Tirado, and welcome to Chef on the Garden. I am a chef at Concordia Charter School. I have over 25 years of experience and I love to work with children and uh, cooking the food for them and teaching them about the food and how they grow. Today we're going to be making some carrots glazed on honey and ranch. This is a very tasty recipe that I work out with my grandkids. First, what we're gonna do is always, before you start working with food, is your food safety. So make sure you have washed your hands and you're ready to touch your vegetables. We're gonna be working with carrots. I decide today to start using these baby carrots, the tricolor. First step to do it is we're gonna boil these carrots so they are a little soft but still crunchy. You're using a stove, make sure that you always have an adult present with you. So after four or five minutes of boiling those carrots, you're gonna carefully take them out of the pot and put them in a container to hold them for a while and make sure that you have adult supervision while doing this because water boils at about over 180 degrees. So that is a very, very bad burn if you get to touch that water. So you don't wanna to touch that water. So be very careful when you're cooking your carrots. So at this point, we're ready to start the glaze. And what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna put the butter in the pan because we want the, that butter to melt. It's two tablespoons of every of the ingredients, so it's very easy to keep in mind. And if you need to do more, just add two at a time. As our butter is melting, we're gonna be adding our honey. Then we're gonna cook that together. Keep your heat a little low because you don't want to burn all those ingredients. You just want to melt them and make sure that they mix together. So now I just add the ranch dressing mix. It's a dry ingredient, so you're just going to add the spices. And quickly, you're going to add your lemon juice. Now that is going to sizzle, so just be very careful when you're stirring it and mixing it. And now this is ready to add your carrots. Now you're gonna put your carrots in there and just make sure that they all get really coated. That's what we call it glazing it. You're gonna cover them and they're ready. Take a plate and they are ready to be enjoyed by your family. Now we're gonna go to Mr. Pickle. He's gonna teach us how to plant them and grow carrots. Thanks, Chef Iris. Today we're gonna to plant some seeds and I got a little bit of help today to give me a hand with this thing. So I wanna introduce you to my friend, Hoppy. Hi, Mr. Pickle. Oh, this is my friend, Hoppy. Hoppy, I need some help planting today. Can you think you can give me a hand with this? You bet, Mr. Pickle. Today we're gonna to plant one of your favorite plants. Hey. What? Hey. Why'd you say hey? Hay is one of my favorite plants. What do you mean, hay? Alfalfa hay. That's not what we're gonna plant today. Your absolute favoriteest plant. What do you think that is? I don't know. It's a carrot. What's a carrot? Carrots, you know, carrots. I don't know. Oh, let me show you what it is. Here is a carrot. Oh, Mr. Pickle, I love this. This is one of my favorites. I, t I told you it's your absolute favorite. I didn't know what that's what you called it. What do you call it? I call it a car rot. A car, car rot? Car rot. Oh, I get it. Car rot carrot. Uh, I, I understand, that must be uh, rabbit talk. Yeah. Okay, all right, so anyway, we're gonna plant this. I need you to help me uh, show the kids how to plant it, so let's go over to the pot and let's see what we can do. Okay, Mr. Biggle. All right, let's get over here and start planting some of your favorite stuff. Okay, I really want to. So uh, what I'd like you to do is if you would just dig a few holes, make about, I don't know, five holes and just dig them very shallow. So like a quarter of an inch, half an inch, the carrot seeds don't need to be put down very deep at all. All right, give me a hand here. Oh, nice job, Hoppy. It's time for me to put the seeds in. You just grab a seed here and uh, watch me how I do it. Putting the seeds in is a little bit difficult because these seeds are so small. You can see they're really, really tiny. 
but you're trying to drop just like one or two in here. Three's okay. We're going to have to probably thin these out if you get too many in here. I wanted to show you one more little trick about planting uh, carrots. So they took a piece of toilet paper, just like one sheet, and they laid that sheet in the soil, just like that. And then they took the seeds and they just put them right on the toilet paper, just like this. Now the toilet paper is just going to decompose and the carrots will grow right through it. And then they just put some soil on top of it like that. So you could lay these uh, toilet paper all over in here as an example. Put the seeds all around and you can see where the seeds are. That's the big advantage of this and it's easier to work with it. Sometimes here at our garden the birds will come in here and get the seeds and it's a little bit of a problem. So one of the solutions that we use here is to put a product on here that's called tool. It's really just a fabric that you can kind of uh, see through but it kind of protects it a little bit from the birds getting in there. And then the other thing that will happen with this tool, it will keep the humidity in here for the seeds so it'll help them stay wet and moist in our dry climate right now so that they'll germinate or they'll start up a little bit faster. But this is just a little trick we use here at the garden to keep, mostly to keep the birds out. Okay, let's get back to Chef Iris now. Now they are perfect. You see how you can pierce them with your knife, really soft, but still string crunchy. Now we're gonna taste them. Mmm, these are delicious.